Okay, so let's take a look at example number one um, from your note packet. Um, the way that I'm going to approach this um, is kind of like the opener. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first rational expression by the reciprocal of the second rational expression. So that's going to give us 7x over 2x minus 10 times x squared minus 11x plus 30 all over x squared minus 6x. Now what we're going to do is approach this just like we approached the multiplication problems from the previous lessons. We're going to try to factor the numerators and denominators of each rational expression and then multiply and see if we can simplify out any common factors. So the first rational expression, 7x, we're going to leave that alone. 2x minus 10, looks like there is a GCF of 2, so 2x divided by 2 is x, negative 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we're going to move over to the second expression, x squared minus 11x plus 30, that will factor to, it looks like, x minus 5 times x minus 6. On the bottom, we've got x squared minus 6x, so I'm going to factor out an x. x squared divided by x is x, and negative 6x divided by x is negative 6. Now we're going to multiply these expressions together, so that's going to give us 7x times x minus 5 times x minus 6 all over 2 times x is 2x times x minus 5 times x minus 6 and it looks like we have a lot of common factors that we can divide out that are shared by the numerator and the denominator x divided by x is 1 x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is also 1. x minus 6 divided by x minus 6 is also 1. So it looks like this will simplify down to 7 halves. Okay, we've got one more video coming up. And we'll see you on the next one.